So this is my boiler. And this is the uh, programmer. And you can uh, set different times uh, on and off during the day. And this is the room thermostat. So how is uh, my boiler wired? And here is the boiler connection terminals. And here is the programmer. And here is the room thermostat. So you can see from this, this is actually alive going to the programmer. Programmer can uh, turn this switch on or off. The thermostat only get the alive when this uh, programmer connected these two terminal. So when the thermostat get the alive, it's only pass the live to the boiler back if you're under the set temperature. If you're above the set temperature, and this switch will be open, not closed. So this is how my boiler is wired. So it's actually you don't have any power at the thermostat until the programmer switch this on. And then there's going to be power on the thermostat. And the thermostat uh, need the power, need the neutral, need the live to work for this thermostat. It's a Triton RTS2. So this is actually a loop. The two thing, programmer and thermostat, in a serial connection. Both connected, the boiler will be turned on. And either not connected, boiler won't be turned on. So when you have set the on-off time, when it's on time, this will be connected. After this connected, only when the room temperature is below the set temperature, this will be connected, and then back to the boiler. So after your room get hot, and this switch will be open, and then even the central heating is on, the boiler will stop heating up your room. To remember, this is the uh, permanent neutral, and this is the live, but it's uh, switched live from the programmer. This is the output from the thermostat. So it is a switched output of the thermostat. Permanent neutral, switched live from the programmer, switched live from the thermostat.